What's up guys, Kyle Webster here, Slinger Disc Golf, and I have got a forehand tip that might change your game. Let's go. What's up guys? This morning I was scrolling through my phone, watching some videos on the Facebook, and uh, came across a video of a, of a baseball coach who was demonstrating a swinging technique, a drill that uh, he uses to just really drive home um, correct swinging motion, just demonstrating the swinging technique that he wanted his players to achieve. It was basically, he was just driving home the fact that he was just dropping his elbow and it was just a wrist motion. And he kept just, he kept just showing that, that wrist motion there. And if we slow it down, it looks a lot like a sidearm throw, that wrist action, that wrist action. Load the bat up high, dropping the elbow, wrist action so i was like wow that looks a lot like forehand for him and i kind of like kept that in my head and i was like i'm going to make that a drill later on and find a way to teach that and that's what i have for you guys today but then later today later in the day which was today my dad sends over a video of a, another baseball player was another baseball video and the guy was using this this technique uh this uh, technology called swing discs and i've never seen these before but it looked exactly like a frisbee and that's what they were they were discs they were frisbees and the player was holding holding it like this like he was swinging a baseball bat he may have even had his fingers in it like he's throwing a sidearm i didn't see that but he had it in like he was swinging a baseball bat and he was actually swinging swinging the disc like a baseball bat and i hope i hope you guys caught that but isn't that crazy how swinging it like a bat is just like throwing it like a sidearm. So, in that video, the main point of this uh, drill for him is to make sure that he's not rolling the bat over, rolling the disc over, and hitting that ball into the ground. Rolling that wrist over, hitting the ball into the ground. He wants to come through with that palm flat, with that bat with a good plane, and he wants to smack that ball with the most potential. And so when he's, uh, when he's demonstrating that, he's like, I don't want to roll it over. You see right there, you see the back of my hand. I see the back of my hand. The disc is heading to the ground. It's going to be rolling away from me. And so like when I'm throwing sidearm and when I'm teaching sidearm, I teach the same thing that this player is trying to achieve with these swing discs. I never want to see the back of my hand. Even if I'm throwing a forehand roller straight to the ground, my follow through is that. See, you're seeing what I want to see. Now, I'm never gonna wanna see this. That's the back of my hand. That's me turning that disc over. That's me swinging that bat over. You see what I'm saying? Coming through flat, sidearms coming through flat. That's the one point I'm gonna always drive home when I'm teaching sidearm is you never wanna see the back of your hand, no matter what sidearm shot you're throwing, be it a roller, hyzer, flat shot, whatever, anhyzer. If you see the back of your hand, you threw it wrong. And I mean that. So let's get to the throw, right? So we're loaded like we're swinging a baseball bat, okay? And now we can move down the tee pad with that baseball, with that bat loaded. I'm gonna take that back back up. All right, we're throwing a sidearm. And this is not how, you know, once you get better at it, you're gonna get loose. You're gonna start with the disc down here. And then as you move down the tee pad, you're gonna load later into the throw. But right now, when we're teaching ourselves, it's great to have that disc loaded and ready, have that bat loaded and ready. You can move down the tee pad it's just like swinging a bat it's crazy put a disc in our hand finally let's throw it load it like we're swinging that bat that's awesome all right let's try something a little bit better in the wind the f1 like we're swinging a baseball bat <laughs> off the band okay last one we got a little bit straighter disc and instinct same thing loading up top the main goal we're going to be similar to that baseball swing we're loading it first coming through palm up okay you, have, you just need to take some practice swings swing that baseball bat okay guys so that's uh 
that's that quick video about swinging a baseball bat, throwing sidearms and how they correlate together. Try that tip at home. Let me know what you think. I think you guys could find a lot of success with something as simple as that. It doesn't have to be a baseball bat. It could be a good size stick. It could be a broom handle. Make sure you have plenty of room and remember, finish palm up and you'll have success. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm. Need lower? Yeah. It's almost like you need to go mid height to that clip and try to go over the, uh, like where he just landed, did it. That looks great. Actually. Yeah, and go over the OB. Ooh. It's gorgeous, man. I bet you. Can't wait to see what that is. But...